Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your How Your Person Feels. This is a timeless love reading and this can be in regards to anybody that comes to mind. If this is um, something that you want to see more of, please comment, let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you are subscribed. So, First, I'm looking at how your person feels. We just had a card flip out. This is please don't let go. Hold on to my soul, which has been showing up quite a bit. I believe this card came out for Gemini and Aquarius. So you could be dealing with uh, a fellow ear sign. But I am using uh, several different decks. I'm asking several different questions. Please uh, stay tuned till the end of the video where I will be looking at some zodiac signs. But how does Libra's person feel about Libra? How does Libra's person feel about Libra? Wow, I miss your kiss. Okay, let's see. My love will rise through the coldest of times and I will always cherish you. So, for many of you, uh, this is someone that you were with, and you may have let go, Libra, but this person still loves you. They do not want you to let go. They will always cherish you, and maybe for some of you, this is, um, you know, this is a tough time that you guys are going through within your relationship. Okay, let's look at what they want to tell you. So what does Libra's person want to tell Libra? What does Libra's person want to tell Libra? Keep it simple. Okay. What does a Libra's person want to tell? Okay. Forgive. Okay. That's pretty simple. They want to keep it simple and they may want forgiveness. For some of you, maybe this is a pattern. This definitely could be a pattern for some of you. see let's look at what is hidden so looking at Libra's person what does Libra need to know what is hidden from Libra that Libra needs needs to know from their person looking at Libra's person what do they need to know what is hidden that they need to know at Libra's person. I am not over you. So they want your forgiveness, that's for sure. I feel so happy with you. You know, guys, I really feel like this person, your person, is not happy at the moment. They may, they may be miserable. They're not happy. And I feel like for many of you, you know, they've, they've been actually very stressed out. The energy has been actually very heavy, very difficult. And that's why they want to keep it simple. They just want things to feel light and easy. I don't know what comes next. 
they're confused, um, if this has been a, a pattern between you guys, you know, they're not sure if you're going to forgive them. They're not sure. They want forgiveness, but they're not sure if you're going to. They're happy when they're with you. They're certainly not over you. I mean, I am not over you. Please don't let go. Hold on to my soul. For some of you, this is a karmic. Which, you know, karmic relationships, you know, those connections are very difficult to let go of. All right, let's um, look a little closer here. Let's see exactly what they have going on in their life. So what does Libra's person have going on right now at the moment? Looking at Libra's person. have going on at the moment. Temperance. Yeah, they're healing. They're healing. And honestly, I, I feel like the energy that they've been in has been very difficult, very heavy, very, very, very difficult. And so I think that, yeah, they're just coping. They're just coping right now. This person may be, um, you know, dependent on you emotionally, dependent on you, Libra. You make them very happy, and I really feel like they're not happy right now, and it's because you guys are not together. We have the Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups. What does Libra's person have going on at the moment in their life? What do they have going on in their life right now? Death. Wow. Let's see, one more. Looking at Libra's person, please. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. It's in the reverse. Wow, look at this. We have the Devil at the bottom. Hmm. This person could be dealing with um, some... Some sort of maybe addiction, addiction problems. Um, they are dealing with it. This may be for some of you, not all of you, but take what resonates, leave the rest. For some of you, this is a very addictive personality. That's not for all of you, but, you know, it is something I'm getting. This is someone who... You know, they're relying on you emotionally, Libra. They cherish you. Um, for some of you, this is someone who's obsessed, okay? They may have done something to you and they regret it. They absolutely regret it. They're not over you. They are coming forward. They will be reaching out to you. Yeah, this person is, is very dependent on you. They also have some other things that, you know, I feel like they need to work on. Some other maybe addictions. There's some other stuff going on here. Now, the next question I am asking is, will they reach out? They will. I mean, look at this. When I cut this deck... We have the Knight of Cups. You have the Knight of Cups twice. Without a doubt, this person is going to be reaching out to you, Libra. For some of you, they're coming forward with an apology. We have death. 
So you may have completely ended it with this person. Maybe it's because they're so needy for some of you. They're so needy. Yes, for some of you, I mean, they might have some sort of addiction, but that's not all of you. Some sort of toxic energies that need to be cleared, definitely. But some of you ended it with this person. Now, it can be revived with, you know, of course. Uh... It can be revived. That's what this person is going to try to do. We have temperance with the Knight of Cups. This may be a very slow process, but they will try. If you do not want this person back, if you, Libra, have learned the karmic lesson and you're done, completely done with this person, you would have to shut the door and and not open it back up do you know what i mean shut the door and do not open it again they'll come knocking but you can't open the door again they're very very needy they're very needy and those of you that are trying to attract love into your life the next person that you have come in very well could be a Scorpio, maybe a Pisces, maybe a Cancer. They may be younger. They may have a very addictive personality. And they could be going through some stuff in their life at the moment. All right, so... Here, I'm asking if they will reach out. I already know that they will. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Chariot in the reverse. Some of you possibly dealing with a Cancer. But um, this might tell us, you know, a little bit more here. So let's see. Looking at Libra's person. We have the Magician and the Three of Wands. With the Ace of Swords, communication. For some of you, this is going to be face-to-face, -to -face too. Uh, it could be very blunt, straight to the point. So, um, this is <laughs> going to go one of two ways. Either I'm done with you, I'm cutting ties with you. Um... I'm turning my back on you because of the past, whatever went on in the past, whatever they want forgiveness for. And then others, you may choose to move forward with this person, but, you know, they need to work on themselves. They're emotionally dependent on you in this connection that is not healthy. They may have other issues as well. Could be financial. We have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. So it could be financial. For a handful, this is just a handful of you guys. So it's not gonna resonate with all of you, but for a small number of you, your person is connected to somebody else. So they're in a relationship with somebody else, but yet they cannot let go of you because you're the one that makes them happy. As far as them leaving that relationship, it's going to take some time. So if you are waiting on your person to leave another relationship, I do see you waiting. It's going to be a minute, really. It's, it's going to be a minute. And those of you that are waiting to 
come together with this person, and this could even be physically come together with this person, they may be at a distance. Fin finances may be a factor right now. So if they do have to maybe move to be near you or, you know, if they're saving to come and see you because this definitely could be someone you met online or you're going to meet online. Funds could be lacking at the moment. They also might not have a vehicle or they might have something wrong with their vehicle. And so I see them actually trying to raise money, trying to save money. But finances definitely are a factor for this person right now. They may come to you and ask you to help them out financially, uh, especially if this is someone at a distance. And um, if you really want to be with this person, so this is going to be different for all of you, um, I do actually see you sending this person some money so they can come and see you. Or, you know, this can always go both ways. You know, this is your person. So maybe you're like this and they're going to help you out. You know what I mean? They want this. They're manifesting this. They are. They're, you know, they're, they are healing themselves. They are experiencing great change within their life, but they're manifesting. They are manifesting. We have the magician. We have the three of wands. And I do feel like whatever it is that they're manifesting at this time, as long as they don't give up on this, I do see success with this. It's just, it's not going to be right now. It's not going to be tomorrow. They need to have patience, definitely, without a doubt. They need to be patient. But if this is something that they want and something that they believe in, I see this being a success, you know, as long as they don't give up on it. And, I mean, that can be with manifesting a relationship with you or you guys coming back together this person may be waiting on you they're trying to manifest you back into their life they want forgiveness and they are waiting on you without a doubt they're waiting on you but let's look at the advice let's look at the advice communication is coming in when this person does reach out to you, it's really like do or die. Do you want to revive this? Do you want this or not? But what is the advice? For Libra's person, what is the advice? If you're waiting on this person to get out of a relationship, you've got to keep things light and, um, you know, be patient with this person. All right, I actually pulled two. Yeah, look at that. We have, this is number 18. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. And then 45, be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. This person cares. This person is coming forward. We had the Knight of Cups twice with the magician with the ace of swords they're not over you they miss you they miss your kiss you know maybe it's taken a long time for them to get to this point and you know if you are waiting on them and they're going through some stuff like i said you're going to have to be patient but you know if you want to be with them be supportive. Be supportive. Embrace your emotions. 
this is what your person is doing for many of you this is what they're doing they might be doing it slowly but they're doing it and they will make a genuine effort to show you that they care this person may be a little younger than you um, that's not for all of you but this person definitely may be younger or you know they haven't had a ton of life experiences you know what I mean um, this is definitely teaching them you know maybe a lot of lessons but uh, let's look at the outcome here which is always subject to change but let's look at the outcome for leaders person what's needed is lots of communication speaking up speaking your truth and uh, being patient a whole lot of patience is the outcome for Libra's person and all of the decks that I'm using uh, guys they are all listed below uh, along with the links where you can purchase them right, what is the outcome for Libra and their person please All right, so we have a couple of cards here. I'm going to take both of them. Okay. So looking at the outcome, which again can always change. We do have this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. So, yeah. For some of you, they know that you're the one or they will very shortly because for some of you this person's definitely going through it but we also have finances financial challenges are affecting this connection so again maybe they're out of work finances are a factor here for those of you that are at a distance maybe they're having a problem with getting to you you know maybe they don't have the money to do that maybe they have to save some money maybe they have to move you know this could be another state another country whatever it is you know maybe this person is trying to save money to be with you to move closer to you but there's definitely some financial factors here that they're working on you know they have to be patient but they are working on it Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Beautiful. So try to stay positive. This person, um, maybe they're an overthinker. Maybe they tend to think the worst. believe we had the yes we had the devil at the bottom of this deck which is a, a very heavy a very very pessimistic energy it's someone who is overly fearful and overly um thinking the worst okay it's really affecting them and so, you know, maybe your person needs some encouragement from you. Uh, but then we also have when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love, which this card has come out quite a bit. So watch your other signs. I've seen this quite a bit. So, yeah. Yeah. this is definitely a learning experience for your person 
But again, they have new beginnings. They're manifesting a brand new beginning. For many of you, this is with you. And you're supporting them through this difficult time, you know. This is a difficult time. But you are there for them. Or you were there for them and you may have chose to walk away. Some of you will come back together with this person or maybe you're going to try to stay friends. But they're not over you at all. Not even close to it. That's not what I'm getting. They want your forgiveness. They miss you. They cherish you. You make them very happy. And um, I do see communication coming in in the very near future. So if this person does owe you an apology, I definitely see that coming. All right, so let's very quickly pull some zodiac signs. Uh, your person may be one of these signs here. It doesn't have to be. I'm also seeing um, heavy water. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Could be Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, maybe Aries that you're dealing with. Let's see, a Libra's person. Okay. Water, yeah. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Pisces. This person definitely may have uh, water and air in their chart. And any of the other signs that I mentioned. All right, guys. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. And again, if you like these sort of readings, please comment. Let me know. All right, guys. Take